Hi, I'm Brad, and I'm going to share some information about the operation and function of the Moisture Miter Automatic Drain Valve. Over 40 years ago, the valve was originally designed to be used in the trucking and busing industry, and it was very important to have a fail-safe valve and a valve that did not waste air, uh, as this went into the air brake systems on trucks and buses. Over the decades, the valve has been re-engineered and adapted to be used more so in an industrial environment. The way the valve functions is it takes a pilot signal. And as that pilot signal is applied, as this piston slides forward, and we close off this discharge port. As this piston slides all the way forward, what it's going to do, it's going to open up this stainless steel check valve on this end of the valve. So if there would be any water or condensation on this end of the valve, the only way that would happen is that moisture would be pushed into here. It cannot go out the exhaust port. So what it is, it's forced up into the stainless steel tank right here. So it's stored out of the system. One of the unique features is as you fill this tank with water, you compress the air that's in the top of this tank. So whatever system pressure you have, if you have 150 pounds of system pressure, you have 150 pounds of stored energy here uh, to be used to push that water out of the tank. As this piston goes back to its original position, when this pilot signal is relieved, just the opposite happens. Um, the check valve closes off. Uh, you have zero pressure drop. As it moves all the way back, it opens up this bottom exhaust port. And now this stored energy, this pressure up here, is just going to re-expand to what it, what it originally started out at. And as that re-expands, that's pushing that condensation out through the valve and out the discharge port. So the function is, again, when the piston comes forward, opens up the check valve, water condensation goes in, goes up in here, pressurizes the air in here, stored out of your system. Signal is relieved here, this piston comes back, check valve closes off, and the water is forced back through the valve out the discharge port. The most common application of this drain valve is used on industrial compressors, primarily reciprocating compressors up to about 30 horsepower. The most common ways of cycling the valve is either tying into an unloading pressure switch or a centrifugal unloader. So each time the compressor goes through its load and unload or start-stop function, That'll provide the pilot signal to the drain valve and cause the drain valve to function and drain the condensate from the tank. This graphic shows the most common installation methods for draining receiver tanks. What's nice about it is the drain valves can be mounted up higher and they do not have to be mounted down below the air compressor. The unique end cap design allows for many mounting possibilities. Here's an installation using the bulkhead method on a bracket that was supplied right from the compressor OEM. Here's another installation of the uniqueness of the mounting configuration where the drain valves are attached right to the side of an electrical box on our Tsunami Regenerative Dryer. Here's another application where you can use the unique mounting bracket to mount to a piece of conduit. This moisture miner drain here is draining the condensation from the uh, drip leg on this air piping system.